Today I want to talk a little bit about easing. And easing refers to the way that objects move when you animate them. I'm here in the behavior designer and I'm going to make an animation where this rectangle just kind of animates over into the corner. And I can tap back and forth and we can see the animation. Now the default animation is a spring. If you select the object, this is true in the transition designer or the behavior designer, and you scroll the inspector down to the timing section, that's where you can adjust the timing or the easing that's used in the animation. So right now I've got spring selected and there's two types of springs. I have RK4 right now. And with the RK4 spring, you can adjust tension, friction, and velocity. Now velocity, I usually keep it as it is. And then I adjust the friction and the tension. If you want the thing to be more, have more bounces, uh, bring the friction down. And if you bring the tension down as well, it's going to be slower. So then you can bring the friction down even more. Now we're gonna have a lot of bounces and fairly slow. And if I bring the tension up, it's gonna be really fast. I find that the RK4 spring is a pretty natural, these, these two sliders are fairly easy to understand and manipulate. You also have the UI kit spring, which has a duration property. RK4, you just set the values and then the duration is sort of a result of those. In the RK4 spring, you actually have a duration property which kind of is a little bit weird because it doesn't work like a true spring. By setting the duration, it's almost like you're fast forwarding the spring or slowing it down. Which, so it, doesn't kind of, it kind of doesn't match the physical world as accurately, but this is what is used on iOS when you do a spring in there. So if you hand the values that you set for your UI kit spring, the, your developer can use those exact same values very easily and get the same effect. Now the other option is classic easing, and this is where you have an easing curve and a duration. This is nice when you need to have a specific amount of time pass, or when you just don't want to have a spring. Not every animation should be a spring. In fact, uh, sometimes springs are a bit harder to deal with, and if you're working on something that's going to be built, built for real, you might not want to use a spring. You can click these little icons here to get these um, kind of default uh, easing curves. We've got linear which means the object moves at the same speed throughout the entire animation. We've got ease in, which means it starts out slow and then gets faster. Ease out, starts fast, then gets slower. And ease in out, which speeds up and then slows down and then speeds up again. And for all of these, you can set the duration to exactly what you want it to be. So very important to be aware of this because the easing can really change the quality of your animations. And you can set these per layer. So I would also like to show you that the easing curve, whatever you set for your easing, is shown here as a text representation. So in this case, it says Bezier, and that's because the that, that essentially means classic, because the classic easing uses this Bezier curve to indicate the timing function. And you can see as I change it, the numbers here also change. If I go to spring, it'll say UI kit spring or just spring for the RK4 spring. And as you adjust the values, the values in this text representation, representation change. Now this is really useful because, well, for one, you might want to share this with a developer. And if you just want to get those numbers all in one, you can copy them out of here. But the, the main purpose is for using uh, this in different parts of your prototype. So if I, if I set a spring here, and let's say I like this one, and then I want to use it on some other behavior, I can just copy this. So it's very easy to just copy the text and if I make another behavior over here and I want to use the same thing on this one, I can paste it in. Now, the default is the last easing that you had already set. So in this case, that was already set to what I uh, wanted to put there. But let's say you have a new project or you're working on another day or you want to share with another teammate. You can just share this string representation. It makes it very easy to pass easing curves around. One last word of advice about easing. Be very careful to not overdo it. It's fun to make really bouncy springs, but springs tend to go on longer than they seem. Like the animation seems like it's finished, but it's still just bouncing a tiny little bit at the end for maybe a couple hundred milliseconds. And so those animations, oftentimes, you want them to complete a little bit faster. So be aware of that. Generally, whatever looks right, you wanna make it a little bit faster than that. Because you looking at it and observing it, you're like, yeah, that's a good animation. 
generally in the context of using a real app, you want the animations to complete quickly because you don't want them to be in your way. You don't want to be waiting around for an animation to complete. If you're thinking about animation and looking at the animation, you're having fun watching it, but a user of your app wants it to just be over with. So usually err on the side of animations that complete a little bit faster. 